The country cannot wait for this to be fixed anymore. Representative Dan Bishop of North Carolina tweeted that his team was reading through the bill. He listed some of its standout items, including over $300 million to prepare for an influenza pandemic, including the use of surveillance tools, $26 million to the House of Representatives Office of Diversity and Inclusion, more than $3.5 million for the Michelle Obama Trail, $3 million for the LGBT Museum in New York City, over $11 billion for the FBI, as well as funding for a federal building named for Nancy Pelosi. Bishop and Representative Matt Gates appeared together on Firebrand. Gates pointed out that Ukraine got, quote, great treatment in the legislation. Not only will the Ukraine Independence Park be built in D.C., he said the war-torn country will also receive another $47 billion in aid. Bishop remarked that with the newly added $47 billion, the total spent on Ukraine aid will top $100 billion. Russia's entire defense budget is $84 billion. Gates pointed out that nearly $13 billion of that is for economic assistance to stabilize the economy and spur economic recovery. So if you were looking for a, a, an economic nationalist uh, agenda, I guess you've got one. It's just for Ukraine, not for the United States of America. When you actually look at what Zelensky's democracy yeah. is, you see uh, no freedom of the press. He has shut down any media that he does not control, his government does not control. He has gotten political opposition uh, arrested, made sure that that's happened. As you mentioned, he shut down the biggest Ukraine church uh, in the country. And, and I found this quote today. He has actually threatened to punish, quote, any Christian caught worshiping in unapproved ways. Oh, so on. this is the democracy that they are saying, well, we need all of your money, our money, taxpayer dollars to go and defend. Gates goes on to complain about the spending abroad, which the bill contains. He highlights the $32.5 million for the United Nations Population Fund and $575 million for what the bill calls family planning in areas where population growth threatens biodiversity. Just hear that. Abortions as a mechanism for population control. The congressman labeled the policy dystopic and anti-human. Meanwhile, the reconciliation program section of the bill allots $25 million abroad for so-called people-to-people reconciliation programs. The idea is bringing people from conflict areas of different ethnic, political, racial, or religious backgrounds together. Critics have taken shots at the idea that people with perhaps centuries-old conflict would resolve their differences in such a U.S.-funded face-to-face get-together. Rand Paul criticized members of the Republican leadership calling the bill a win due to getting $45 billion more for the military. Here's the senator on C-SPAN. Are we at risk for being invaded by a foreign power if we don't put $45 billion into the military? Or are we more at risk by adding to a $31 trillion debt? Across the aisle, Senator Chuck Schumer called the bill an aggressive and essential investment in American families, while Senator Patrick Leahy lauded the bill for looking after military veterans. And in Florida, Senator Rick Scott said he would prefer a short-term spending bill to fund the government into the first quarter of 2023. He says that would allow the new House leadership to have a say in government spending going forward. (laughs) 